Hey folks, long time no see. It's been uh, almost three months since my last video and I have not been back at the bench since I've gone back to work. Um, work has been good, it's been busy, and I reckon I'm not as resilient as I used to be because on the weekends I am just too damn exhausted to do anything. So here's my modeling place and it's empty. I finally took down the stuff around Thanksgiving time, clear off the table, and um, yeah, I do plan on getting back to it sometime soon. I cannot say my heart's not in it, I just am too damn tired on the weekends. So I spend my weekends hanging out with the fam, catching up on some rest, and then um, that's about it. But uh, before I show you the things I've acquired since then, let me show you what I've been working on. I'll get to that in a second. I'm pretty stoked about it. When we last left off, I was working on this car, and I still am. Just that when I got back to work, I just never came back to the bench. And I had my intentions on doing so, because I left the stuff up for two and a half months. And this lid's on way too damn good. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to put this down, guys. It's struggling with the box. It's pretty damn sad. Hope everybody had a good holiday. So, with this car, I plan on making it as someone's drag car. I think I went through that in the beginning. But here it is. It's black with a Wimbledon white top. Uh, interior, I'm going to do, I did it Wimbledon white, and I'm going to put some red accents in there. And um, started on the engine. It's an old kit. This is just a things I shoved in here. These are for the dirt bikes I'm going to be building for the diorama. So I have made some progress into it. And then um, work happened. And I've been back at work since. So there's really not much to this kit. It's just uh, remotivated. Get some remotivation and get to it. So, and um, I am going to use, I believe, the decals off of the, what was it, 1976 Dodge Dart. It said Rebel Rouser on it. And I think I'm going to use some of those decals to give it a name. Uh, after watching somebody's review of this kit, I decided to buy it. Uh, it was a um, pretty decent price. It's only 30 bucks at Hobby Lobby. And of course, you know, you always have that 40% off coupon. And um, it's, it's a nice kit. Um, the video, I forgot who had posted it, was comparing this to the F250 and um, the similarities between the two because they reuse so many of the parts. But it's a pretty decent kit. I got this one because I just have this love for innocuous cars and I don't know if I'm going to build this as that ridiculous looking car you see there with all the add-ons on it or that um, yeah they actually call the Valaria Roadrunner look at that that's friggin hilarious might even do that because I know I know I laughed at it quite often when it was a current car. There's not many parts to this whatsoever and the decals are just so friggin ridiculous. Got this bad boy for Christmas. Been wanting it for a long time. Um, unfortunately the red lines on this on the tires I don't know if you can see it through the cellophane but it has red lines on it. Um, no, they're not pad printed red line you gotta put a decal on it so I know what's happening with that and uh, bought this for myself and um, again this kit has no has very few parts in it it's a reissue of a reissue of a reissue of a reissue and what I found really hilarious in this kit you know, fighting with this box too is um, again not many parts but I found this 
really interesting in one of the bags. Where the hell is it? Right here. This part right there. That's for building it without putting an engine in it. Is that weird? Never seen that before. Well, this kit again, very few parts. I'm not building it as a police car. I'm building this as like Uncle Vinny's four door Ford Galaxy. I'm not, yeah, I got it just so I could have a four door car. That's it. Um, looks very, very simple. Not much to it. Put another one of these. I'm going to uh, take more time on this one. I'm not building it as Sheriff Roscoe. I'm building this as an unmarked fed car. Uh, I've already decided on it. That uh, weird kind of metallic blue from the 60s for the interior and uh, graphite exterior. Got this helicopter. Couldn't beat this. They had it at Hobby Lobby. It was only $20, 40% coupon bam and this is exactly with the exception of the markings the kid I had when I was a little kid probably about 13 years old it's a nice kid um, I think there might be different guns on it but then again man I was 13 back in 78 I cannot tell you exactly how the kit was but um, I'm gonna build it like you see on the box there and I just always loved this kit loved it and then we get to this. I got this for Christmas. I am so freaking stoked about this. Forgot to uh, bring down my Kinex brand minifigs of the Beat Beatles. So they did a much better job on George. I'm going to zoom in on George and tell me. Doesn't that look like a minifig of Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys instead of George Harrison? But um, there's uh, five bags of parts. You got five minifigs. You got the, I think that was a Nowhere Man. So they do, I think that's pretty smart that they mix each figure up in each bag. Stop people from popping open the box and just stealing the minifigs and returning the box. So um, it's pretty in-depth. There's a lot of parts on this, 553, and it comes from, you zoom on this right there, from the Lego Ideas. So, say you come up with a wild idea for a uh, kit, you submit it to them, they strike interest in it, they post it, and people vote on it. Then they have to go through the designing of it. I'm sure there's many pieces that are used in other sets and some that aren't. I recognize one piece right there for the rudder. Right there. It's a telescope on many other sets or a torch handle. But uh, once I heard this was coming out, I was really stoked about it. And I put it on my Christmas wish list. Anyway, that's the update, guys. Um, Let's see, got to go in for a minor procedure in a couple of weeks, so I'm going to have some, uh, have a little bit of time off, so I'm pretty sure I'll be getting back to uh, the bench at that point. A little girl goes off to college this week, so we'll be moving her, so I know I'm not going to be building this coming weekend. So everybody, I hope you all have a happy and healthy new year, and enjoy yourselves. Stay home, don't drive, and um, happy building. You have a great one, my friends.